Ever wondered how a story written over two centuries ago still captivates millions around the world? Welcome to the timeless tale of Pride and Prejudice, penned by the remarkable Jane Austen. A tale of love, society and the human heart, this classic novel continues to resonate, enchanting readers with its wit, charm and insight into human nature. Its enduring appeal lies in its universal themes and memorable characters, making it a beloved classic across the globe. Now, dive into the world of Pride and Prejudice, where love and misunderstandings intertwine in the society of 19th century England. Imagine a family with five unmarried daughters and a mother desperate to see them wed. This is the predicament of the Bennett family, living in the English countryside during the Regency era. Their lives are anything but tranquil, filled with the constant hustle and bustle of managing hopes and dreams, along with the trials and tribulations of their domestic lives. Enter Mr. Bingley, a young, wealthy and amiable gentleman who moves into the nearby estate of Netherfield Park. This arrival stirs excitement within the Bennett household, lighting a beacon of hope for the mother, Mrs. Bennett, who sees in him a potential suitor for one of her daughters. Indeed, at the subsequent ball, Mr. Bingley shows a marked interest in the eldest and most beautiful Bennett daughter Jane. This apparent mutual attraction fills the air with whispers of a possible engagement, adding to the intrigue of the unfolding narrative. But, just as love seems to blossom, a certain Mr. Darcy enters the scene. Enter Mr. Darcy, a man of considerable wealth and even more considerable pride. He is aloof, seemingly indifferent to the world around him, and yet, he catches the eye of our heroine, Elizabeth Bennet. Their initial encounters, however, are far from fairy tale material. Elizabeth finds Mr. Darcy arrogant, and he, in turn, dismisses her as tolerable, but not handsome enough to tempt him. Their misconceptions about each other stem from this initial meeting. Elizabeth's lively nature and sharp wit contrast sharply with Mr. Darcy's reserved demeanor, leading her to label him as proud. Similarly, Mr. Darcy's initial dismissal of Elizabeth fuels her prejudice against him. Yet, as they interact more, they begin to challenge their initial impressions. Elizabeth's prejudice and Mr. Darcy's pride are put to the test, as they navigate the intricate societal norms of their time. Just when Elizabeth thought she had Mr. Darcy figured out, a letter arrives, shedding new light on his character. With a single letter, Elizabeth's views of Mr. Darcy are turned upside down. This letter, my friends, is where Mr. Darcy pours his heart out, explaining his actions and revealing the truth about his past. The letter is a revelation, a turning point in our story, where Elizabeth is forced to confront her own prejudices. As she reads the letter, she starts to see Mr. Darcy in a new light. His perceived pride was not arrogance, but rather a shield, a defense mechanism against a world that often misunderstood him. And with this realization, Elizabeth's feelings begin to change. Her initial disdain gradually transforms into understanding, then acceptance, and ultimately, into love. The journey, however, is not without its trials and tribulations. There are misunderstandings to be cleared, false impressions to be corrected, and societal expectations to be challenged. But love, as they say, conquers all. Elizabeth's newfound understanding of Mr. Darcy leads to a series of events that bring them closer, allowing them to overcome their initial pride and prejudice. Their relationship evolves, matures, and blossoms, culminating in a marriage proposal. It's a proposal that signifies not just their love for each other, but also their growth as individuals. They've learned to see beyond first impressions, to look past societal norms, and to value the essence of a person. And thus, Pride and Prejudice, a tale of love, misunderstanding and self-realization, comes to a heartwarming conclusion. Pride and Prejudice isn't just a love story, it's a social commentary that has stood the test of time. This beloved novel is brimming with themes that resonate deeply even today, centuries after its publication. Let's delve into the themes of class, marriage and gender roles. Austen uses her sharp wit and keen observational skills to highlight the rigid class structure of her time, where societal rank often dictated one's life path. Yet, 
She also subtly challenges these norms through her character's actions. Marriage, another central theme, is portrayed not just as a romantic union, but also as a means of securing social and financial stability. The novel questions the idea of marriage as a business transaction, suggesting that love and respect should be its foundation. Lastly, we can't ignore the gender roles that are so intricately woven into the fabric of the story. Austen critiques the limited roles available to women, and through Elizabeth Bennet, she celebrates the strength of a woman who dares to defy societal expectations. Pride and Prejudice, a timeless masterpiece that continues to captivate hearts and minds, proving that love can indeed conquer pride and prejudice.